for everyone watching live or on YouTube or whatever video platform later. Yes. Uh, welcome. This is Baked Fish Brains, or BFB for short. Yes. And we have myself, Brain, your host, or LeBald, uh, the fish, and Bush doing all of our horrible takes. And today no, we're going to no, be talking no. about No, no, no. Greatest scaling. well thought takes. <laughs> we have only the best. We provide only the best takes that you all mm -hmm. should take very seriously. As long as that take is ports. Oh, God. Okay. Remove ports from game. Thank you. But we will be talking no, 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 no. about everyone's favorite pastime of skilling today. And I know the fish wanted to uh, give a little speech about his thoughts on skilling to start. Oh, yes, true. I had, I had a little speech. Okay. So... Before we begin talking about whatever Brain had planned, I just want to mention that skilling in 2024 is a wildly different, uh, is a wildly different climate than it was in 2005. God dang it, I forget the teleport. And whenever, like, you know, RuneScape or old school those games all came out because let's let's be honest like half the player base is like maxed and sure even if jagex tomorrow were to raise every single skill to 120 like 25 percent of the players would still be maxed so when we look at skilling nowadays it's like we, we we cannot bring back the glory days where there were actually i i would say you know like elite skillers you know like the people that had you know 99 crafting and they can make like an amulet of fury and so few people had 99 crafting that the fact that that you as the crafter had 99 crafting was actually a basically like like a, like a literal trade skill you know you literally could make money by turning onyxes into amulets of fury whereas now you literally can't because everyone can do it you actually just only lose money by crafting so yeah there's effectively no way unless jagex just like resets everyone's accounts which is essentially what old school was for that game right uh there's no way we can get back into the climate so i think we just we we should all just recognize that we're past that point so when we when we discuss skilling we have to see what jagex can do to you know advance it in a different direction rather than how how we looked at it before in the past all right that, that that's my uh little history lesson with skilling and how to move forward <laughs> Your little blurb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, well, we will go ahead and just dive right in. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, since I'm hosting, uh, I'm going to force Bush to talk first. Perfect. So, oh, yeah. first topic. Uh, when you just need something to do, when you just bide in time, what's your go-to skilling method? What makes you choose it, say, over other methods that might be similar or different? Pretty much, I pick one of the last like AFK skills that I need to get to 120, and depending on how AFK I need to be, I judge it off of that. So like woodcutting is very AFK, obviously. Mm -hmm. Divination is not as AFK. Like I take it in that sense of the AFK ability. Okay. Do you have a uh, since you're on that 120 grind? Do you have an AFK? one that you're going towards cooking is currently the one that has the most afk potential okay that's the one that i would probably go with currently fair enough fish what about yourself hmm? i just don't skill at all at this point so <laughs> you are the anti-skiller yeah 
I mean, maybe if I'm really bored and really looking to do something, I uh, try to get those like golden roses or something for the penance powders. But that's like very rarely. Like I, I, I'm not even gonna count that as something like like I do regularly. That's just like, you know, I'm gonna do some AFK activity for like three hours. I might as well just do that because it's pretty freaking AFK. Mm -hmm. That's that's so, the closest thing I have to like an AFK skilling activity. But it doesn't necessarily have to be AFK. Just something to buy your time. Yeah, if I'm if I'm gonna be playing the game, I'm just PVMing. Like, there's no other thing I'm doing on this game. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm not a skiller. I could definitely say that. I represent the non-skillers in this skilling conversation. <laughs> but you do make your own pots, like overloads and stuff for PVM, right? Oh, I mean, I uh, well, okay, I I I have to so. <laughs> But I'm, I'm not going to call myself a skiller because I'm forced to skill in order to PVM. That's not something that I would claim as skilling, as a necessity fair for enough, PVM. For you, it's part of the PVM side, not the skilling side. I unironically think that if they made overloads, like just the full Elder Overload tradable, and then like maybe you just can't drink them until you have like 106 herb lore or something stupid like that it would be actually healthier for the game because people would probably like legitimately make money just making overloads because okay. okay. so few pvmers actually want to make overloads fair enough fair but enough. yeah well that, that, we're, we're probably moving on to like a further que uh, question later on uh, of so course. so uh, you know you can go just back to, just so you know a little yeah, yeah. Little, introduction, little feelers introduction. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty. So in my case, mm -hmm. I am an AFK Andy. Like I know what I like, and that is keyboard. pressing a button every like couple of minutes. Nice. But then watching that... either the numbers go up or down, depending on if it's my sign of the porter for when I'm fishing or it's the amount of logs on in my inventory going up kind of thing. A true RuneScape 3 skiller. Uh, for a while, just sailfish was my pastime, but then now it's blubbers in my quest to rid the ocean of jellyfish. But, uh... So let me ask you, what what is enjoyable about fishing blubbers? A as someone who, if if I was given the my, you know, free time to play this game, I would not be fishing blubbers. So So what drives you to fish the blubbers? So usually for me, like, RuneScape is like a game I play at work. I've got stuff to do. I need to be able to, like, I need to be able to disassociate quickly from from being able to play it. So, PBM, so it's an idle, it's an idle mobile game. I didn't say it was idle now. Now, hear, hear me uh -huh. out, hear me out. Uh-huh. But a lot of the skills in this game, like, if I yeah. need to, uh, there's an option that if I need to just put my phone down... And hit the production floor, or leave my office, kind of thing. I can do that, like, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have to worry, like, oh god, I'm, I popped an aura. It's like halfway through doing a raksha hour, and I'm gonna be on the floor That's for two me. hours. That's like, me. Interesting. So for me, it's like I like to be able, you know, if I'm working on my computer, typing up a report or something, be able to check on it. You know, something I can like periodically look at, but it, when I need to be able to break away, it's a non-issue. Yeah, that makes sense. Th this game does serve a different uh, purpose, you know, in everyone's life. But we all play this game, and if that's if that's like your purpose, that that's that I respect that. Very respectable. We're not all like hardcore, you know. Gotta always be freaking gaming when we're playing. <laughs> oh, alrighty right. though. Uh, so Andy, mm -hmm. will start you off next for this question. All right. So, Let which skill mm -hmm. or skills? I guess if you have multiple. Yeah. More than welcome to. What's like a skill or skill you want to see something, or just the skill in general expanded further upon? 
And if you had the option to remove a skill, which one would you take out? Okay. I think I think I can. I, I don't know if this really counts because I don't know if you're counting combat skills as a skill. But I would literally answer both of these with the same skill, and that's a necromancy, because <laughs> they both they this necromancy is in, is incredibly unfleshed out compared to all the other combat skills. But it's uh you know obviously because it ha it's it's extremely new. And there's probably there's they they probably have like a part two announced somewhere or not announced but like part two planned because they're freaking slow as dirt whenever making you know changes but it, it's just like they have no uh, they have no plans in updating necromancy because they have no budget in RST right now as we all everyone's mostly aware of. Mm -hmm. And, so I, I, th and I feel like necromancy bandy. can fall yeah. into that category, just because okay. like the ritual side of things is very, is very skilling, like, very not yeah. combat, and it's clearly this is the not combat way to do this skill. Yeah. Like, it's not like magic where it's like, oh hey, I'm gonna press teleport a trillion times yeah, to that's, that's the skill. Or, 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 or like <laughs> livid farm later became the skill. It's like no, nobody, no. Like, Livid Farm was a nice idea, but absolutely nobody wanted to do it. Like, frick Livid Farm. Okay, okay. But yeah, like, I, I just want to emphasize that Jagex did a very, very lazy job in, in acclimating Necromancy into the other combat styles. And I, I, now, I, know, I now realize that I'm freaking shifting the focus of this skilling <laughs> conversation back into combat, which we already supposedly covered last week. But I just have to say, it they made it way too broken for very few investments into time, into resource, into APM, like your physical like usage of it. Everything about it was lazily and hastily done. Frick necromancy launch. It, 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 and so, yeah, it could be made a lot better. You know, like they could nerf all the damage, but then add the fourth conjure and all this other stuff to make actually make it more balanced to fit in line with the rest of the uh, styles. And I also, you know, if they're not gonna do that, just freaking delete it from the game. It'd be healthier. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. That was my take. Uh, so for me, uh, the biggest skill that I'd want to see expanded on is construction. Like construction has a lot of really good framework to work with, but I agree. The current execution of housing is pretty meh today. You know, back in the day, it was a lot bigger deal when construction was was the new skill on the block. So, you know, you, you could go to other people's houses and see what they did. You, you've got, you know, the whole Svaldor massacre that was literally a bug related to housing. Oh, yeah. Uh, with the whole boxing arena. Yep. But uh, there, there's so much potential in, say, like, Clan Citadel construction that you could do. That, oh, you're so right. Oh, you're so um, right. Where, like, oh, hey, like, I've got like we can decorate the citadel how we want, but these construction levels here are the things we can build, kind of thing. When is the well, last time we had a freaking citadel update in this game? Don't think about that. I if I looked it up, I'd probably <laughs> wanna wanna cry. As someone who's but, been a part of clans like basically since they came out. Mm -hmm. But it, it's just one of those things, in my opinion. Like they did well on the decorative side. But they kept the scope of it too small. And so th there's like a... We we've got the fort. I'd love to be able to, you know, put housing decorations there kind of thing. Like, oh, imagine, of... imagine with the fort you could build like a freaking actual town there or something. Exactly. You know, because um, it's a freaking entire fortress. There's a lot of space there. Always mm -hmm. Also, please like give that. me something to spend construction contract credits on. I literally have like a couple Whoa. thousand of them that I can't do anything with because I own everything and I just have True. nothing to spend. <laughs> okay. uh, as for the one skill in the game I'd like to remove, I think this is going to come as absolutely no surprise to anybody, but it's Dungeoneering. 
Dungeoneering well, uh, is cringe. <laughs> okay, I, okay. I, I, yeah. I stand that Dungeoneering is the worst skill in the game. It, it takes a little bit of every skill for itself. It says like, hey, you know, I'm going to try and be, you know, puzzles and all that. But my actual interaction with the other systems in the game is going to be this random ass hole you can walk into. And like that's it. You get some experience, you walk in, and 90% of the time it's useless. It's definitely the most uh, non, non-skill non skill that we have. Not like traditional if op- skill, I'll If say. the optimal way to train your skill is wait for a beach event and go hop into a hole for hours on end, maybe, just maybe... We need to no, 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 no. I don't blame the hole. I blame Jagex for making the hole. The, the, <laughs> the, fix, for, the fix for that is literally just deleting the hole. It, but, it sounds like the skill is the issue but, here. If the hole is the better option is all I'm no, 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 saying. No, 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 no. It, it is the better option because nobody freaking dungeoneers because they didn't freaking update it. And, I don't know. It's like the whole ports thing all over again that maybe we shouldn't bring up this early into the conversation, but... Oh my god. Alrighty, though. Bush, what about you? Skill you want to see expanded on? What skill do you want to remove from the game? Um... So... It has been quite a while since, um... Like, any skill other than farming and herbal got expanded on, obviously. Mm -hmm. I feel like they have a lot of potential to actually expand some of the, like, actually crafting and whatnot, like crafting, fletching, any of those. Basically, any of those type of skills to basically 120, I guess, you could technically do. Like all the artisan-y type yeah, stuff. Yeah, like all the artisan type. Okay, but of but things. what but what do you actually want it to do? Like like what what is the purpose of it going to one twenty? Like what is it going to provide for us? Um, honestly, I'm not really like too sure on that myself. But like, just having the option to expand on that and then have more things to actually craft or just anything like that, like gear sets, even like. Just, it just feels like they really need to rework it to have it actually matter in some ways. Because right now it just does not matter that you can craft certain gears. Like, because you just lose money crafting it. Or, the, my favorite example, Elite Draco Lich. 92 right. crafting. <laughs> Yeah, Ganodermic Poncho, yeah. ninety-eight yeah. crafting. Yeah. Like they really <laughs> need to just like go back and change things like that. Like I don't know how to really expand on skills. Like the construction one that Brain brought up definitely is one that I could see having a lot of use. But for artisan stuff, it's a little bit difficult because like, what could they realistically add? Okay, I. Well, no, yeah, that that's my point. I think if yeah. if they're going to make an update, the update has to be meaningful. It can't just be like yeah, exactly. for literally no reason. Because because firstly, like every single person, not every single person, but so many people already have just one twenty in every skill. So just just making a skill go to one twenty is not an update. Yeah, because exactly. it most people it's just already completed for them. So. It, it has to do something more than that, especially if if you're expanding something to 120. Like Brain saying with with the construction thing, I can I can understand why um why construction could oh, yeah. still have so much content even post 120 like expansion because it probably just literally takes a frick ton of time itself or materials to actually build everything. Mm-hmm. So, like, if I wanted to build this, like, crystal castle or something in the fort, I don't know, just some random thing in my head, um, it could literally just require, like, so many resources that either we, A, just don't have yet or, like, is just ridiculously expensive. Like, imagine, I don't know, like, 
it just uses uh you need like a thousand like crystal seeds or whatever you know the things that you like the tier 70s mm, yeah like if every single person needed a thousand crystal seeds like holy frick that would definitely not be enough for everybody so it would just be like insane um but yeah oh, and also it could just physically take a frick long time like masterwork does where it, it, it just physically takes like i don't know several days of in-game time building the thing which would make sense because construction you know in real life does take a frick long time to construct things <laughs> So it would make sense if it did take you several days to construct whatever you're doing. And then yeah. the thing that you make could um the thing that you make could be extremely meaningful. Like it could just uh you know, like I was saying for a very long time, uh have like a freaking upgraded like armor set freaking thing, armor stand where you can like have another armor set or something. You know, something really meaningful mm -hmm. that that is is like helps your character in like the game um and i okay i, I i'm kind of like freaking taking this conversation hostage but i'm just you know <laughs> i just want to say i just want to add jagex could do a for let, let's say they want to do 120 crafting and fletching they could do something kind of forced like they could literally force stuff into the skill but let's just say, uh, you know, they released new tier 95 tank armor. And it's it's literally just, and it has a really cool set effect, like Crypt Bloom, okay? And it literally just takes, like, just days of your time to complete, like, masterwork. You know, that yeah. would be something that they could add. It's meaningful, takes a lot of time. But it, it, it does feel very forced. Like, I, I feel like, like that's what Masterwork was as, as well. It, it, it is still kind of good at the end of the day. But it's just like, okay, they made this really freaking tedious just for the sake of making it tedious. The thing that they could do, in my eyes, is make the components to make the gear untradeable, but you gather the untradeable stuff to make it. That way the people that actually like leveled those skills can actually go out gather the stuff make the stuff and sell it to the people who don't want to do that yeah that's like pretty to much what masterwork more meaning was. to it yeah like when masterwork came out it, it literally was the best in slot melee gear and so yeah. a lot of people mm -hmm. wanted it and skillers did make money from it mm -hmm. it would definitely make a lot more sense to me to have more meaning to the skilling i just don't know like is that the most fun way to actually buff skilling you know because i i'm just imagining like what makes skilling fun we'll, i think we'll, we'll, we'll delve into these oh, topics okay 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 okay, later okay, okay, okay well. sorry sorry i'll stop hijacking okay you're go back <laughs> to you brad well hold on bush never got to answer the second part if you got to remove a skill mm -hmm. which one would you want to remove True. Uh, does it have to be specifically remove it? Um, if you have another idea, I'm curious to hear what you got to say. Rework how invention works. Uh, Please, such, for the love of God. No, such a base no, take. No, 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 no. Please, for the love of God. Where is okay, this actually, man's crown? Okay, okay, okay. Tell, okay, actually, wait, wait, wait. I, I, yeah, 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 sorry. Keep going with it. Keep going with it. Keep going I don't it. want to have to play the RNG wheel of destroying a bunch of stuff, getting the stuff to do that, and then all of a sudden you're 700 mil down the drain on something that could have cost you 5 mil to get. That is just not healthy. Is that, is that the only thing that upsets you with it? Um... I yeah, sign. pretty much. Like, because I I can just, tell you I can tell you like there's literally a solution they could do like tomorrow that fixes the whole thing. Oh yeah, I know. I know there's a solution <laughs> they could do. It just pains me, but like, I'm gonna use myself. <laughs> Damn, Zenny loves the pain this. of invention. Was I, don't, I me think you might be the only one. Relentless crackling or whatever it was. Whenever I came back to you, the game, you were trying to get uh Re relentless five. Yeah, uh, crackling yeah. four. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it took, took you like 800 mil. 800 mil 
to get that. That yeah, is that was ridiculous. Awful. Like that is too much. For just Okay, Bush, do do you know this illusion do it or or should I just say it? Like what one would say it? They if they just made every single perk combination tradable in the GE, like you just search it in the GE, and you could just yes. buy the thing, that would entirely remove that whole problem because, because, just like the thing I said with with Herblore, because there are people that have def no interest in skill. Definitely don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. they, not only the skilling, but they don't want to play the gamble game with their freaking money. Yeah. But there are people that do want to play the gamble game because they're like, oh, uh -huh. I, because let's be honest, most PVMers for a, a Relentless 5, Crackling 4, to just get it without any hassle, they would probably pay like three to 400 mil for each one just because of like how rare it is actually in, in, in the cost of the yeah. components. Now, a, a freaking stupid. noob could just get it in, you know, in in the same cost of, like, 50 mil and just make, like, 350 mil, which is, you know, absurd for the average player. Like, that's just, like, mm -hmm. an absurd amount of money that you can just easily create. So, I think if they just made the perks tradable, which they literally can do that, it's... it's Sure, they have to, like, create a freaking slot for every single per combination which they're you know at this point there, there there's quite a lot but it's not like an impossible amount i don't i don't think because you know because there's, there's only so many per combinations mm -hmm. i think they can do it they could make per yep. tradable and that would fix the whole issue with that all righty well we'll continue on then so when we think of scaling usually there's kind of no two domains with it. You've got the AFK, I'm going to completely turn my brain off. And then you've got, oh my Jesus, I'm like, literally cannot take my eyes off the screen. There's not really... And like it's basically the two factions that it falls into. Uh, in my opinion, for Hunter, when they added BGH, I thought that was one of the best scaling things they had at you know it's okay question wait wait what, what was the actual question again i wasn't I haven't thinking gotten oh, to the, okay. i'm setting Sorry. the background okay 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 I, I i was i thought i just completely missed the entire question because no, that was, no, no, that was no. PBM. okay sorry you boy so like with the introduction of B, uh big game hunter you know there's this essentially third type of skilling that can exist um uh, is that something you'd want to see for other skills uh, so, for example, uh, like the master quest cape requirement where you hunt the thalassus. What if the thalassus was its own, like, skilling type boss, similar to Big Game Hunter, where, you know, you had to utilize resources on the boat, harpoon the thing, deal damage, yada, yada, yada. Interesting. Because the, the old school does have a fishing boss kind of like that, exactly what you're saying. Like, there's. Old school has a fishing boss and a fire making boss. Yeah. But is that. Is that something you would like to see more I'm in the game? Is that like PVM style skilling, I guess, is the best way for me to phrase it. Um, so I'll start this one off. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, yes. First of all, I think variety is king when it comes yep. to an MMO. Like, does, doesn't matter which game you play, RuneScape, World of Warcraft, EVE, Guild Wars, Final Fantasy... As long as there is variety, there is content to do. You can find something that really scratches your itch. So, you know, for people like Andy, who hate skilling with a fiery passion, did you at least enjoy Big Game Hunter, Andy? Was, it, was that, like, mm. compared I'm to, say, doing lie. regular Hunter? <laughs> so I have done a lot of Big Game Hunter. I've even done... Um whatever the freaking boss is in old school for quite a bit on, like, a hardcore Iron Man. I I don't really know if I enjoy doing them. But maybe that's just because, like, I just, um, I'm just too, like, I, I, maybe it's just because I'm, like, just comparing it to PVM where it just kind of feels like it's just, like, a watered-down version of PVM because I don't have to, like, worry about 
I don't have to worry about like my HP or like my prayer or something. There's a lot of like like stuff that's just watered down with it. That it just feels like I'm doing watered down PVM. Okay. So, but like, obviously, you know, new content like that for skilling doesn't hurt. I, I don't. I don't think if if they announced that they'd be doing more skilling bosses, I wouldn't be you know opposed to them. Maybe like yeah, like, like give, let's give it a go. Let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Um, and I and I do think like you were saying. Having more variety is always great. So, you know, I, I, so, I'd, I'd definitely give it a try. So you don't hate it, but like adding yeah. like resource management to it kind of thing. More than just like gather X resource, build thing. Right, right. Attack. Yeah. Like you, you want like more conditions to work with, I guess. Yep. Fair enough, fair enough. Um. I guess I kind of covered me and you with that one. So, uh, Bush, what about yourself? I honestly would fully agree. I would like to see more of it, like, but more difficult versions of them. Like, you can make an easy mode a hard mode, okay. or even like a uh, even harder like mode of it, mm -hmm. so that you have more of those conditions that you have to meet. And not just, you know, mindlessly doing the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. That, that is actually interesting. Adding like a freaking enjoyable. hard mode or enraged skilling boss. That would be cool. Yeah, like it would be more interesting that, to do. You know, that might, that might wet some people's whistles. I don't know. Maybe some quote unquote elite skillers would be interested in such a feat. <laughs> So, you know, on that topic, let's take, you know, Big Game Hunter, for example. Um, so the, there's, you know, the like the danger mech, essentially, where, you know, that you stand in the circle too long, it turns red, you lose the encounter, essentially. So what if, say, for like a hard mode that since they have like they have multiple pathings that they can do, you know, that's a pretty known thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, what if every time it circled around, it always chose the next optimal pathing to get you to the fastest, like to get to you the fastest? And what if, like the danger circle, what if it got bigger the longer you were in it? Kind of thing. Wait, so wait, what is the purpose of this? We're just making it harder? Like as, as a hard mode. Oh, like, okay. Now, like, yeah. it's not just like, hey, I need danger. I need to get out of the circle. It's I'm in danger and the circle is getting bigger. Because I've been standing at it too long. And the boss is actively hunting, like actively chasing me to try and get me. As opposed to just completely random roaming. Yeah, that's, that's that seems like a pretty reasonable like hard mode mechanic. I think uh You know, I, I you know, I, I think as long as it's implemented in a in a in a meaningful way that has meaningful rewards which i'm you know there's there's always a way to do all of that so i i think it's uh you know jagex fails a lot at at doing this surprisingly but uh you know i think uh can definitely be done correctly all right so, so we'll I move approve. on and mm -hmm. normally you know, normally Bush, you'd be the next person, but I really think Annie needs to be the person to start this question. Heck yeah. So, uh, what changes would you like to see to skilling in relations to combat's dependence on several of the skills? Uh, what 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 is what is combat's dependence? What do you mean? Uh, so like oh, your overload example, like oh. Okay. Like, well, you, you you at the end of the day, you have to make overloads if you want to do combat. Like, there's just no getting around that. Like, I mean, I think in the I. Okay, I I might need to think about this, so I might change my answer at some point. So okay. I'm not like I'm not like a hundred percent solid on this, but all right. I think. Do, for do you need now... me to help you? Uh, do you need me to help you jumpstart this one? Because I no, we probably no. have very different takes on this. No. Well. Well. I. Well. Well. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay. Stay like consistent with with what I said before, and I think that. I think that if you just want to 
PVM, there there should be no like required skilling that you need to do post just like unlocking something. So I okay. shouldn't need to, like like I shouldn't need to go do herbalore just because I need potions. Like I should just be able to buy those. Like the fact the fact that the fact that they that Jagex made them untradeable is just like a, a pure freaking just like annoyance for PVMers. Like that's the only reason why they did that. Like they could have easily made them tradable, and then oh like maybe I I guess I guess. Like, like I said earlier, like have some some if they really want you to have the herbal level to like use them, just for some reason have an herbal level to like know how to drink them or something. I don't freaking know. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, uh, Bush, do you have anything uh, in particular you'd like to see with that? Wait. Honestly. Wait, 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 wait. When did I freaking issue. mute my mic? Hold up. I completely you, you muted. You like muted for like just a sec. I think you like accidentally tapped the button like not too Okay, wait, can, okay. Can I just can we one last thing? Uh so with it. So with uh there there is more stuff that's like forced onto PVM that's not just the uh Well, Okay, I was I was gonna mention the the skilling stuff related to you know like all the skilling you need to do for like the farm stuff, but actually mm -hmm. that is tradable. So you know what? Never mind. Just just cut, cut this part out. Cut this part out. Let let let, let okay. Bush go. <laughs> cut okay. this part out. <laughs> Anything you want? Well, how do you? I guess. Uh changes you want to see in the skilling combat dependence on each other you can keep the overloads just don't make it so we have to forcibly be like making them make it so there's like a requirement to be able to use them obviously but don't like make us train the skills to be able to Use so, yeah, so that that's that's like, exactly like literally my take. the same exact same thing. Thing. Okay, okay, okay. So we agree, me, we agree. Let me just buy everything and just not have to worry about oh, I ran out of overloads. Now I can't PVM for the next three hours because I need to go make overloads for the next like ten hours. You know? Okay. Yep. So uh I have a bit of a different take on this. So I'm sure I'm sure you do. Well, let's hear it. I'm uh I'm I'm sure I'm about to wrestle both your jimmies on this one. Yeah. But uh naturally. So getting into PVM. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm getting into PVM. G getting into PVM, <laughs> yeah, sure. Tradable stuff, cool. Let it run all the way. But you want to do the top of the top? You want to be try and be like, you know, some of the best of the best? Nah. Those Dyna, Dyna arrows you want, you should have to make them all yourself. Elder overloads. I mean, we have regular overloads. Those aren't going to cut it. Well, up your game. Oh, uh, I know where this is going. Okay. Uh-huh. So in my opinion, they actually need to be more interlocked than they currently are. And Interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, I, th there is, you know, my whole opinion on how the two should feed into each other. You know, you get PVM drops. Yep. They need to be stuff that skillers themselves use to produce yep. items. And then those items are what PVMers use to actually PVM. Yep. So ideally, you know, in general, you want to, you know, just do the thing. Cool. But if you want to be the best of the best, you got to be the best of the best everywhere. Oh god. Which comparatively for skilling is just reaching the point. Okay, it's so you like... so your argument is that PVMers need to skill for their stuff because PVMing should If you want to do should... the pinnacle of PVM, you the should be pinnacle. You sh you, you sh it, it should be interlocked with skilling. Yes. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay. You uh -huh. have all these skills, you know, we're, we're quote unquote the world guardian. Yes. You know? Canonically, we're supposed to be the best of everything we do, even though we're a complete idiot. Absolutely. Show it. 
So, a requirement is that you must be a skiller to be a great, you know, combat user. Well, that's a that's a part of that. You're, you're saying it's 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 all it's all a package. It has well, to be. Uh, let's look at it this way, Andy. You know, you've got a you use relics, don't you? Yes. Uh, from archaeology. Yes. Archaeology is not a very combat related skill, other than you know the couple of relic contributions and it, the random literally mysteries. Literally, because that they uncovered. forced it that way. Yes. But uh, hold on. Let me let me pull up the exact level for this. There is conservation of energy. Yes. It only requires 118 archaeology. Yes, it is extremely high requirement. But you can uh, PVM just fine without conservation not, of energy. Okay. You don't, yes. You don't need conservation of energy as a I understand base what you're saying but, but I but I think I think I think we we actually are agreeing with this uh, with this statement because Bush and I both said it's fine to have it's fine to have skilling requirements for things it's just not fine to have like skilling to be maintaining everything like the freaking overloads I think for it should maintain for things like regular overloads sure you want to get into PVM cool you can buy them you want elder overloads? You got to make them yourself. That is, that is interesting. That you want binding contracted familiars? You can't buy them. You got to go get them. Oh my god! That <laughs> that would actually probably lore wise make more sense. That like in order to control them, you have to like actually buy them yourself. <laughs> but like frick, man. So that's my opinion on it, is that for general PVM, you know, hanging out with your friends, just doing your thing, cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But you want to be the best of the best? You got to be the best of the best everywhere. Okay, so so let me let me put this into terms that I thought that's where you're heading to. So you, you want to make PVMers be able to use, like, a non-superior version of... Of an item that we're all like essentially required to use in PVM, like overloads. But if you want the best, it's you need a superior version which you make yourself. Essentially, like, and I, I hate like I hate the, that I'm literally about to do this right now. Yeah, but uh, if we uh, loop it back to ports, yes, that that's that's why that's where I thought you were no. going with this be, because no. it, it is exactly how ports works. No, because <laughs> you have the best item. Like, like you could, you could, you have the scrimshaws, which were essentially the best in slot items for the pocket slots for a very long time. Mm -hmm. That had superior versions that were untradeable, but you could make tradable ones that skillers could sell to other PVMers that were just very, very slightly worse than this than the superior ones. Yeah. You know, they were still completely functional, you know, com yeah. compared with the other items that they, they were still the best for what you had. But they weren't the best of the best. <sighs> Freaking we got we, we, we found I we found the skilling agree. elitist. We found the skilling <laughs> elitist. Some, we we have uncovered agree him. With it, but police. Oh, no. Get him here. We found him. <laughs> Oh my god! But okay, no, but 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 real talk. I understand the take. I understand the take. I, it makes sense because it that that would truly give a lot of value to skilling, even further than what I was saying. With oh yeah, uh, you should you should just be able to sell them to people and make money. Mm -hmm. But there's like there's like a twofold because there's there's like you could sell them make money but also you could be the PVMer that also skills and get even greater benefit and then having exactly. like a superior like elder overload. All right, I think uh, I think we've all kind of gotten our points across for that one. Yeah. Uh, so this is more on the scaling side than the combat side again. Yeah. Um, uh, so for this question. What holes do you see in skilling that, in your opinion, need to be filled for a better skilling experience? So, what I, I'd maybe approach this from like the leveling side of things. Um, 
And then any suggestions that you would put forward with that? So I'm gonna just kind of open the floor to any, but like either of y'all, if y'all want to. Uh... Okay. So the question is, oh frick, I forgot. So the the the, the question is is wait, what what are what are the holes that need to be filled for it to be a better experience? So you know how. Uh, let's take construction again, for example. Uh, construction probably has the strangest leveling curve possible because okay. all it actually depends on, minus you know the whole contract thing. We're gonna we're gonna disinclude that just for the moment, just for this example. Okay. But your actual experience rates in construction only depend on what plank and what type. Yeah, it's of how much plank money. You it's how much money you spend. Yeah, I uh, I, I, uh, I understand that. Exactly. So there is no real curve, essentially. You get like the first like 20 ish levels before you can start making mahogany stuff. And then after that, like it's quite literally 90% just flat rated experience comparatively. To say, I don't know. See, say, let's take like Hunter for example. Okay, Hunter. You in my see, there's a little... there's a difference between Hunter and construction, and and the difference is that one is known as a money skill, and the other is known as a freaking slowest frick gathering skill. So I will think you, it's done will on you purpose. You let me finish. Okay, so you can finish, Bryn. Uh -huh. But either, like in my opinion, construction will be a lot better. From the money standpoint, if let's look at the like slow and quick or the slow and cheap, but fast and uh, expensive methods. Right. At, at the end of the day, they're actually not as far apart as people think. Like, they're still like decently far apart, but like I want to see where you pump way more money in and your output is just like way quicker for construction. Okay. kind of thing like have things where it's like this this requires 20 mahogany logs and there's really only like that kind of item for it and it's it's going to give you a pretty big drop in xp and that's going to build you up way quicker than say like hey i'm building this oak chair a million times comparatively So that, that okay, that that's what you want. So you want the money skill to be even more money skill. I want there to be benefits. Uh huh. To being able to invest, like it, like this is just construction, for example, like right. But you, but we could apply it to like all the money skills, like for the money skills, freaking, yeah. yeah, like, like crafting. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like. Like fletching, I guess, kind of falls into that category too, where yeah, it does. Ninety percent of people just buy the skill, yeah, kind of thing. But I'd like to see options where, like, I have a ton of these resources. Let me work with the batch rather than just tiny bits at a time. I guess if that makes sense. Hmm. You know, the skilling elitists would say. You gotta skill all of them one by one, cause that's the true skilling way of RuneScape. <laughs> you no shortcuts. Gotta freaking do it the dirt slow way. Mm -hmm. I would take, say, uh, okay, let's yeah, take yeah, divination yeah. for example. Uh -huh. Like divination, the best way to do it is just cash and pretend the skill doesn't exist outside yep. of cash. You just only do caches. Yep. And part of that is because the actual leveling experience of divination is just horrible. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to see is, I guess, better equalization of that leveling curve where it doesn't feel like you're just banging your head for hours because, well, there's no cash up. I don't want to train div because there's no cash like at all. There's, Without cash, there's like basically not an option to train div comparatively. <laughs> like, I mean, you can. It's just, it's just very freaking bad. 
and it's it's like it's like mind-numbingly bad to train exactly. Div like actually at the colonies. But it shouldn't have to be mind-numbingly bad. Um. But but wait, wait but what's the solution? Like you're you're saying that you should be able to money dump into Div now? Like no no no. Or, or... I'd like to see the X like a better XP curve comparatively. Okay. Like from you actually gathering okay, cause, the list. Okay, because I I can uh, yeah. I, I, I'm just saying that I feel like each skill, like, I, I can't really answer this in, like, a generality, because I think each skill has their own flaws with them. But honestly, as someone as someone who partook, partook in Fresh Start Worlds, so I started a, a brand new account, and yes, there was boosted ex, uh, XP rates, but, like, it's not, like, so much to the degree that I, like, that, like, I didn't experience any skilling. I think mm. the vast majority of skills is actually pretty the 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 curve from one to nine nine is actually pretty good, and it and a lot of it is is very different from when we did it like back in the day, because they added a lot of like actually like low level low level stuff or so much freaking stuff, um in this game now, that mm -hmm. I I didn't find any issue with most of skilling yeah the, the the ones that like you talked about were very bad like divination but outside of divination like what's what skills are even that bad to train nowadays at, like from from uh one to 99 i'm trying to think like i guess i guess runecrafting you could probably say is in a similar camp where it just sucks like you just have to live in rune span from one to 99 um not necessarily. Okay. With uh, the skull and the will, you go into the. Yeah, um, it, yeah, it, it, it is that, another alt. It is another option for it's sure. A, yeah. It's a really fast method. Yeah. So I don't know. I I don't really like. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just wrong, but I like, I I don't really have any issue with with the one nine nine curve aside for just like some minor, like. Like minor scenarios where Jagex could just just like patch out, you know, like uh -huh. like like with the divination thing. I don't know, Bush, if you have any thoughts on this. Just more like I'd I'd like to actually see more skilling bosses that give <laughs> like skilling good bosses. XP rates, like just okay. good XP rates from the skilling bosses. That way, you can also make money while getting the XP and have more options. Like, instead of, oh, I put down a trap, I catch one thing, I put down another trap, catch another thing, and just monotonously do that 30,000 times. I have no clue if this was at, intentional at all at Jagex, but the, the, the way I got, I think it was like 63 Hunter or 66 Hunter or something for like uh, one of the quests I had to do in Fresh Art Worlds was literally just go into a solo Croesus instance and just keep and just keep doing the hunter plot over and over and over again <laughs> and i don't know like again i don't know if that's what they intended but that's that is what ended up happening and it was it was uh it wasn't too bad it was pretty freaking fast and yeah i guess if solo bosses do that for you yeah by all means let's let's do it or sorry skilling bosses do that not solo bosses yeah, like, imagine being able to, you know, you have a lot of AFK time. You can go, like, do a friggin' tree. Like, just a normal tree, just cut that for hours while you're AFKing. But then, um, whenever you're actually actively playing, you don't want to just click on a tree and then forget about it for five minutes and whatnot if you're actively wanting to play the game then you can go to Croesus or something and then get the same or if not more xp per hour plus making money from it like being able to have that option of just you know getting better xp rates while also having to pay attention this would improve so much Yeah, like, back to our skilling boss discussion is like, yeah, I'm, 
I, I don't find them as engaging as like actual PVMing, but hey, I welcome them. I welcome skilling bosses. <laughs> There's not really much that you can really do for skilling bosses unless you make them actively harder for specific reasons. Well, yeah, you you could make Krosis a lot harder than they made it for sure. Just make oh, it yeah, like, you really, can make really big game punishing. hunter a lot more. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of avenues that they can go down. Yeah. If that's what they wanted to do. Like imagine having to um, gather from the plots in Krosis, while also having to juggle, like, repairing something around the arena to keep the, like infection from spreading or something you know yeah 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 just having yeah, yeah. that extra little bit to pay attention to fair enough all righty and we will move on to our last question and heck yeah what we got bush and fish i think know exactly where i'm gonna go with this one oh, but no. what is your actual monka take or wish uh, when it comes to scaling. Come back to this. Okay, let's let's see. If y'all need to, some time to think, boy, do I already have one in place. Okay, you want to go first this time. Okay. I'll... I can go first if y'all need time to think. I don't mind either I way. I have not really thought go about it, it, so yeah. Alrighty. So. Let's hear it. When we look at, you know, the majority of skills, they have some secondary benefactor that's, you know, more than. Like, let's take the gathering skills, for example. You know, uh, with wood cutting, you can uh, cut trees, but you can also get, like, the bird nest, the geodes, or the memory thing if you have the Guthics memorial thingy for it. Uh-huh. Uh, fishing, you know, you can catch a fish. Uh, and then there's that one scrimshaw that, you know, like, you can catch a quote-unquote bigger fish, but you always miss it kind of thing. What I mm -hmm. would like to see is the introduction of a scrimshaw or two for every skill in the game. Uh huh. I Remote want a crafting. Game. I want a crafting one that, when you use it, it keeps the harp at 100 percent, never goes down in prif. Oh uh, God. One for okay. fletching that you know, uh -huh. makes you do arrows faster or gives it like a bigger chance for bonus arrows kind of thing. I was so confused when you were like secondary benefactor. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, you're talking about the freaking secondary <laughs> port scrimshaws that have their <laughs> effects. Okay, okay, now I understand. But I want to see one for construction. Okay, so I, you want a scrimshaw. I want to see one for summoning. I want to see one for freaking dungeoneering, and I hate that skill with every fiber of my being. Now, okay, as someone who also has all the scrimshaws unlocked and has way too many ancient bones, I understand that, yes, they could introduce a lot more scrimshaws that make the ancient bones actually worth it. Just wh what? What would the summoning one even do? Like, what are we talking here? Um. When you're converting pouches to uh, scrolls, it gives you double the amount. What? How? So normally you get 10 per okay. pouch, like 10 scrolls. Yeah. Uh, when you've got the summoning one active, and we'll, we'll give that one charges because that one will make more sense in particular. Yes, because that sounds freaking way too broken. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, every time you convert a pouch, it doubles it, but it eats X amount of charges from the scrum. Interesting. That's like a very direct. That that would like give a very direct value to like every ancient bone at that point. Whereas before, yes. it's not very defined. Interesting. That that I mean, yeah, I'm not saying that's good or bad. It's just uh, it it would definitely change the way ancient bones are valued. Yes. A bit. I want to make ancient bones great again all right so the so brains braids super super skilling take is there needs to be more skilling scrimshaws got it that makes yes that's 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 what i expected have, all right that bounce, that bounce seen... off of yeah. what makes the skill the skill 
Uh -huh. Have you guys ever seen the Lorax? Yes. Uh, Remember when the yeah. guys like let it die, let it die. That's what I <laughs> <to> <laughs> Just let it oh, die. Oh my god. Just let it die. No. Please. No. Please oh just god. let it die. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't. It's where <laughs> it's where my heart is for this uh -huh. game. <laughs> Ports is what unironically made me love scaling again. Look, okay. <laughs> I know we're, 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 this is going to go off into like a bit of a tangent, but I think ports, if they sped it up a frick ton, let people catch up, let people catch up to ports and they added more regions and then they added all this. I think it's totally reasonable and it's fine. I think it's fine. I mean, obviously they would need to balance stuff out because it, as much as I love ports, I, I realize that if we did this, the current system is just not balanced to accommodate for that. Yeah. P people would literally be so far behind. And if you introduce like area nine and 10, like th this would affect so few people in the game that you know it, they would be very upset. Uh, I stand by my decision. If, 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 if we want to be super serious about it, that's just I, I like ports. I like ports. I like the whole aesthetic. I like the eastern regions. I like what they could do with with uh, ports. It's just they neglected it for way too long, and the port system is a little outdated. They have to freaking catch it back up. Do I have an exegil? I do have an exegil. But one to sell? No. Alrighty, though. Uh, Bush, what's your uh, what's your monka skilling take? Wish, Honestly, whatever you want it to be. I can't really think of anything. Just, okay, okay, okay. Let me let me think. I I my hours. Uh, I would like to argue removing ports since there's so much skilling involved oh with ports could God. be a take. This <laughs> is <laughs> the opposite of your take. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, my take had actual substance. I'm adding, I'm adding additional features that would benefit everyone that skills. I mean, that nah, that's true. Because the the there are un there are tradable versions of all the screenshots that, that actually would benefit the, the players in general. Because you you are very right. Even if they can't access it, it still benefits them because they could just buy it mm -hmm. off the GE. Exactly. Like everyone, everyone likes to talk talk all this. Uh, Talk all this trash on ports, but when but when the when the in cam do hatcher came out, did did everyone not use a freaking bird whatever crushing scrimshaw? Everyone had one on. They all benefited from ports. We don't talk about that. Tr sorry, tree, no, no, tree think, shaking scrimshaw. No, everyone used talk, one. I don't think talk we do everyone talk used about one. That. No, 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 no. no. Because no other item even compared to giving you bird's nest like that. That even the non-enhanced version, that mm -hmm. one item was greater than the sum of every other item combined. It, it was, yeah. That, that that gave you the the. You uh, know what they could have done instead? The nest. Remove ports and put that buff into the woodcutting guild, or whatever for the fort. Mm. As a buff that you just no. unlock. No, 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 no. Okay, let me let me think. I still need to think about what my take is, because I I already said delete necromancy, but I, I I'm not gonna lie. At this point, I feel like the community is half and half. Like it's not even that controversial. Like half the community <laughs> probably would agree with me that they should delete necromancy. The other half would just call me a freaking PVM elitist, which you know I. I uh okay. I'm, 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 gonna not argue. An, I'm not even gonna argue. I'm that. not an elitist. I'm just stupid. Well. <laughs> No, I, I I am like a like a kind of elitist, but I will never I will never tell someone not to use the meta because that's just how it is. Like after after Necromancy came out, 
freaking five times as many people got got 4K Telos and 4K Glacier because of Necromancy. But, like, I'm not going to tell them all. Oh, like, they're not real PVMers because they use Necromancy. They they still got it. They just used what was meta. And if anything, just blame mm -hmm. Jagus for making it too broken. Bush, if you think of anything, go go for it. I mean, technically, the ports one is, like, my only <laughs> real no, thing. No, no, no. I got, you got, you can think of something else. Nah, nah, we can't just beat the leap ports. Like, freaking no. <laughs> That's not even controversial. Freaking 80% of people would agree with you. You got it all one toolkit. What 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 is what is your take? You you can, you can give us one. You can get anyone in chat if you want to share us all your skilling stuff. We will react to it live. And I think he was saying that he was confused about, or they they were confused about oh, something on the, the on the PVME oh, Discord. Okay, okay, frick. Uh, they, <laughs> and that they had figured out what their <laughs> issue okay, okay, was. Okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. Okay. I have a take. All right. That again is like I don't know if it really is controversial, but I'm sure there exists people that don't like it because there are a lot of elitists in this game. But I think every single skill, and I mean literally every single skill, should have some form of AFK method all the way to 99 or like whatever. You know what I mean? Okay. Because I know if if a, if like an old if an if a maxed old school player heard that, and yes, I know technically we have one of those guys here. But if a maxed old school player heard that, they'd be freaking cringing inside, right? You just you just most, AFK all most, the way down. A lot of the skills do have AFK methods. Yes, but I'm saying everyone, every single one of those, yeah. like a Jolie has one. Summoning has one somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. The, the the money ones you probably have to put some sort of input in them, so it's not just like free. You know what I mean? Like like it's, you should still pay money for it for it to be AFK. But uh, you know, freaking hunter should have one. Just AFK all the way to ninety nine. Why is that? Because a skilling for a lot of people that play this game and potentially new players that play this game is not really an activity that they they enjoy doing it's just a means to an end it's just a means to an end to like you know get to the end game and and, and have fun playing the game so having the option to just afk something all the way to the end just to get it over with I think we'll make it a lot more bearable for players that just want to like hit the end game and experience the end game. The yeah, even if you have to dump money into the AFK portion of it, like just yeah, exactly, I agree. Let us do that. So, the fact that the fact that oh, like a lot of skills in this game to this day, you know, like uh, now let me let me look at the skill list. I mean, like, dungeoneering outside of the beach, right? Like, there's no way to AFK it. <laughs> like, you're just fricked. You, you, you have, like, and, and, and dungeoneering does gatekeep a lot of stuff. Like, you know, for example, Plague Zen, going to Priv, you need 75 dungeoneering. And you're just, like, a brand new player that have never played R3 before. You load up this game. You're like, I need 75 dungeoneering. How the frick do I train that? It's like, it, it's, it's like the most freaking booty thing you could possibly imagine to try to get to that level. You know, or like construction, it's just it's just so awful. And yes, Jagex is trying to sell the solution with Proteans because they're freaking MTX scum. I understand <laughs> that, but Jagex, if you want to do it, if you want to do the player base a solid, give a completely AFK brain dead way to train every skill to ninety nine. That's that's what they should do. All right, all right. Yeah, I can agree with that. Like, even if you have to pay the money, like let's say. Yeah, the, money, the money skills should still cost like, money, so it doesn't just, say, just like, freaking it, break the For example, thing. Hunter, obviously you have Protean traps, but obviously you can only get them from, through Treasure Hunter. Make it so you can pay like a fee for an area to be able to use like AFK traps. Give them like a lower catch rate, like give them a 20% lower catch rate. Than normally yeah, doing yeah yeah for for sure that, and then you just could just let do something easy as that for yep. like an hourly like cost 
Yeah, there you go. That's how you, that's how you reduce the inflation. Like, just you can reduce the inflation by just sucking the up the GP. Yeah, for all get the rid skills. Of money in the game while the people <laughs> are getting their skills up. Okay. Without having to, you know, stare at a chin chompa for twenty hours a day. Yep. All one toolkit says the ports is fine. It's just the grind is ridiculous. Yep, that's pretty much what we said. It's it's just like a way too outdated grind for people to just go for from absolutely nothing. All right, but you got you gotta have some skilling take that's you know controversial. Anything. I honestly can't really think of anything. <laughs> oh my god. Like, there's really nothing controversial that I could think of for skilling. This, this is the portion of the episode that gets the most, uh, you know, uh, impressions, okay? We, we have this, 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 <laughs> this is what, this is what gets people to talk about our talk show. You gotta think of something for skilling. You freaking, you're maxed on RS3 and old school. You have no take on it. Like what? Like no freaking crazy thing. The thing take. is, I'm someone that I enjoy the grind. Okay, like, so you enjoy, you actually enjoy skilling is what you're telling I me. I actually like okay, kind of okay. enjoy skilling okay. because like you do have those options. Like let's say I am not in the mood to go do construction. Yeah. I can go out and just... AFK hit a tree or hit a rock. Like, uh -huh. I don't need to devote, like, my okay. four hours on okay. the game to just mind numbingly okay. yeah. Sorry. crafting a table over and over. Right. So, you like, there's a very large variety of skills to train, so you don't, you don't, you don't feel like stuck training. Yeah. Skill. Like, I can swap yeah. between. Yeah. That's, skills. that's one of the reasons why RuneScape is such a great game in general, is because there's like 29 yeah, exactly. skills. Whereas mm -hmm. other games, there's really not that option for it. No, nowhere near as many, comparatively. Mm -hmm. Okay. If Bush isn't going to give a crazy take, can I give another even crazier take then? Alva taking his spot. Oh, no. Oh, uh, sure. Go for it. Okay. So. There's a reason why I wanted to tell you guys. We're going to loop back around to the very beginning of this episode. I told you guys that it's that it's not possible to recreate the old beginning of RuneScape uh, skilling experience. Where most people were starting off from like nothing. So there were very, very few people that had like 99s to do all this crazy stuff in the game. That a very few select people could do. You know, such as, like, the crafting thing I gave example for. Or, you know... Making rune items, yeah. Yeah, people, mm -hmm. like, crafting rune items. Or, like, pe yeah, people crafting, you know, nature runes. It's just like, wow, these, this this guy has, like, all the nature runes. And, and, they, and like, there was even a oh, guy... I remember that, running nature yeah, runes. Yeah, and there was that... a guy that literally had, like, a monopoly <laughs> on nature, nature runes. Because, like, it was just... It, it, it was just that kind of... It was like a Wild Wild West landscape. And right now, in 2024, that's just not possible. Because it doesn't matter what update you make to skilling, there's going to be a very large portion of people that have access to all the content because they're just they're literally just 120 all or 200 mil all. Mm -hmm. But what if I told you that you could recreate that in RuneScape 2024? You... Okay. What Jagex needs to do to actually make skilling great again okay is to raise the skilling xp from 200 mil to like 200 bill and make <laughs> skills go to like a thousand that's that's how you do it because maybe not, maybe that's too high but let, let's just not a thousand let, let, let's just let's just get it to like 200 okay what is what what xp levels 200 i don't know but it's probably at least like it's probably at least a, like a few billion, okay? So it's not like something that a dude tomorrow can attain. They raised the skills to 200 all, like 200, not 200 mil all, 200 all. Like, you know, the skill goes to 200. We're back, baby. We're back to the <laughs> wild, wild west. There's going to be one frick that just only trains like fricking farming. And that one dude is like level 178 farming where everyone else is at like 140. That dude is is going to be farming the freaking the nectar of the gods, okay? <laughs> and they and they're the only one with the nectar of the gods and they're you know 
and they're freaking just, they have a monopoly on it. And that could be you. You could be that one dude that only trains freaking, I don't know, freaking uh, divination. And you have, a, and you're like 180 divination. And you have access to the Elder God Chronicle, or not, that's already a thing. Whatever, El, a freaking, I don't know, Divine cr Elder God Energies. That's, you know, that's all you. And you can make this super special thing, and everyone flocks to you for all their gear. That's what they need to do with skilling if they truly wanted it to bring it back, is raise the 200 mil XP thing. And, and okay. just put freaking whatever random stuff for all the skills. It would be an absolutely ridiculously massive project, but it's not out of it's not out of this realm. A lot of games like a lot of a lot of eastern MMOs do that. It's like when Maple Story, right? The, like their cap was like 200 and then they just made the cap for every single class go to like 220 and they just added things to all the things, right? Obviously this mm -hmm. is a much bigger scale, but I'm only saying that just because I know there's so many freaking nerds that that would like if we only raise it from 200 mil to 300 mil, there'd be a dude that spends like $100,000 in treasure hunter and they would be 300, 300 mil all in like, you know, in a week or something stupid like that. But yeah. That is how you make skilling great again. Thanks everyone for seeing the light with me. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right. Well, on that note, Andy, did you want to do a poll for the worst take? Yes. Thank you, Brain, for hosting. Of everyone course. here. We're gonna run a poll. Who had the worst take? of this discussion what the i immediately got voted okay that was me uh, <laughs> <laughs> that take is so garbage it actually hurt my soul look props to you <laughs> look i'm just saying yes nobody would not a single new player would join the game from that but it'd be great it'd be great uh, okay, well, uh, anyone, please vote for uh, someone else. Anyone? 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 Frick! Okay, well, looks like I am hosting episode three. Next week. <laughs> or whenever yeah. we do it again. <laughs> well, thank you, Congrats. everyone, all so much for watching. Also, leave your comments in twitch or on youtube let us know what you uh think about our discussion if there's any changes you'd like with our formatting our format of the show and all that also feel free to leave that i read everything i love hearing your uh perspectives uh you guys read them too shortly yes and uh yeah that's all from me thanks everyone for watching bye bye everyone Aww.